This is a spirometer. It is an example of a portable spirometer and similar to most screening spirometers. When used properly, it should provide reliable, accurate results that are simple to interpret. This spirometer comes with a base station and a printer. This unit operates off of the base. After a test has been performed and accepted, it is then placed back on the base to print out the results. The printer is designed to provide hard copies of both numerical data and graphs that become permanent records in the patient's files. Prior to performing a test, you will snap a disposable mouthpiece onto the apparatus. The keypad is used to enter the patient's information and set the spirometer to begin testing. An easy-to-read LCD screen displays instructions and numeric results. The following is a step-by-step -step guide to performing a spirometry test. Okay, Angela, when you exhale, breathe out as hard and as fast as you possibly can. You're going to exhale for six seconds. You won't feel the air leaving your lungs, so it may feel like you don't have any air left to breathe, but keep going until I tell you to stop. That's very important. Do not stop until I tell you to stop, okay? Okay. Okay. Step one. Remove the spirometer from the base. Step two, turn on the spirometer. The spirometer power switch is in the back. Slide a mouthpiece onto the device until you hear a click. Check for the words, select an option on the LCD screen. Press the key that says ID. Step three, before starting a test, you will enter some patient information, beginning with the ID number. This will be a number determined by your office. Next is the patient's age, followed by height in inches, and a code number that will specify gender and race. These codes can be found in the manual for the spirometer. The screen should return to Select an Option. You are now ready to run a test. Select the test you want to run. In this case, you will measure the patient's FVC. The most important part of performing a spirometry test is to coach the patient to give what is referred to as their best effort. When the screen reads, blow, 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 direct the patient to begin blowing into the mouthpiece. If you believe a patient gave a best effort, you will press yes, storing the reading in the unit's memory. Two readings within 200 milliliters, or 10% of each other, will signify a best effort. Any reading that does not fall within the 200 milliliter range will not be deemed a best effort.